can you remind me again how we knew that in when you add the ed suffix to the base snap we had to double the p Well, if the suffix begins with a vowel, it changes the, um, the consonant, so it would be doubled. Okay. And what if I added, and that's nice because if I did S N A P and I added an S suffix, you can get rid of this one now. What would, would I have to double the P? No, no, no. Because it's a P. Because that's not a vowel suffix. Okay. Well, you guys are, that's excellent. All right, well, let's move on and get, look at some other ones here. So then we have snapped a mosquito, another snapped. Oh, lots of snapping. Hey, <laughs> sna snapping would have a double P as well. He could, he caught the mosquito, he caught the flea, he caught the minnow, but he didn't catch me. And then I see that you were looking at these other words and you saw sometimes you, replace a single silent E or a non-syllabic E. Sometimes you don't make any change. Hmm, how come you didn't double the B and climbed? Because it's, it looks kind of good in the word. Well, there's something special going on here. We do have a vowel suffix, don't we? We have vowel suffix in both cases. We know we double the P here, but we don't double it here. So we have a vowel suffix in both places. The fi snap ends in what kind of letter? Is that a consonant or a vowel? Consonant. And what's that letter? Vowel. What's that consonant? Uh, what's that letter? Is, that, is B a consonant or a vowel? Consonant. How about that M? Uh, so maybe it has something to do with the fact that there's two consonants, consonants here, but there's only one here. It, did you did you run into that idea? Um, it's because on our flowchart it says there can't be 